How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with some Hot Butcher up in this piece. Yeah, Golden Oldie. I like that label. Um, yeah, this is a... Uh, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, it is an Eldorado Hopped IPA. India Pale Ale. How about that? Well, Hot Butcher for the world. I don't want to use this glass. I want to use this one. Um, yeah, they sent this. We're going to drink it. How about that for... For life and things. So, yeah, it was. I like that. I like gold. I like gold. <laughs> I was a fucking gold member. Quoting, um, goddamn Austin Powers movies. Yeah, this is definitely a uh, very on point cultural thing. Well, beer reviews. Uh, so, yeah, I dig the Jets labels. Their tasting notes in the back are fresh citrus, bright pine, and candy cherries. Candy cherries. Okay, we'll see. Uh, over an index finger of just south of the colored head. Big, huge head on that sucker. And this rich, dense kind of amber-like core to it. So it's quite a bit darker than what you'd expect uh, from, you know, not a relatively big hazy. You're talking about 6.75? Let's get news. So, this is a very rare occasion. I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. It smells like candy cherries. I did not believe that tasting note or aromatic. Um, when I read it, I was like, mm, come on, cherries? There's a cherry thing going on in here. So, boo on this guy. Me and them. I can't get past it now. I mean, there's a fruitiness to it. There's a, there's a West Coast vibiness. There's a rich melon characteristic to it. But that cherry thing is really kind of sticking to my brain right now in a very, very cool way. I'm kind of like hot and bothered over this right now. I'm not quite sure what to think. Let's just drink. Cheers. That's a fun beer. That is a very, very, very fun beer. That's, let's put it this way. You know, Hot Butcher sends beers all the time. Bunch of YouTubers. And I've had my fair share. Um, and one of my favorite things about uh, Hot Butcher has always been their kind of what I call hot fuck duggery. This is quintessential hot butcher like one of the coolest kind of flavor profiles i've gotten off any of their beers in quite some time you're talking about a straight up el dorado hopped i'm sure there's more than just el dorado in this beer but that's a showcase hop and it's coming off super duper cool there's a big bitterness to this the soul and core of this beer without a doubt is the west coast but there's this super new school fruitiness both from that melon characteristic, under ripened kind of tropical melon, mango, but it's under ripened. It's not overly sweet. And this is where the trick comes off. That cherry thing they talk about there, and I was like, okay, whatever. They're just trying to be cool about talking about tasting notes. No, no, they're right. And that's the sweet portion of the show. It's a very sweet cherry. And that's where they call it candy cherry that kind of is appropriate. And it comes off really, really fun. The mouth feels really nice. It's got the softness to it. It's not super dense. It's kind of drinkable. That bittering, that West Coasty vibes, that little bit of kind of pininess, that little subtle bit of resininess is in there. It's playing a part and it's very, very fun, but it's pretty much all there to balance off this kind of sweet on sweet on sweet on the other side of things. And that sweet on sweet on sweet is that tropical fruit melon characteristic that really is there as a as a accoutrement, a, 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 a little assist to the way that kind of cherry comes off in a very cool way. This is such a cool beer. I, listen, I said, I think this is my third listen in this beer review. Uh, I'm a sucker for cherry flavored things. I'm not a big cherry guy. And give me a cherry, I'm like, oh, that's a cherry. Yay. <laughs> but you give me cherry. And I'm happy. Listen. I drink diet soda. I'm one of those weird people. I drink too much sugary shit and beer. Diet Cherry Coke Zero is should be a class A drug. That's how good it is. <laughs> this is the coolest cherry thing beyond that. And that's kind of like, I don't mean to demean a uh, hot butcher at all with that. Because I think this is probably way better and more organic. Uh, but it's just such a cool flavor profile that I've never had this vibrant and never had this aggressive before. And an IPA that, for all intents and purposes, is relatively singly hopped. I mean, that's what they're talking about in the front here. And it's just really, really, really cool. Like, really cool. And it's the weird part about, you sit here and tell me, 
or I sit here and tell you, this is going to be my favorite hot butcher beer of all time. I don't think so. I don't even know if it's Mount Rushmore, San Jose, or even close. Is it one of the more hot butchery beers? One of the more cooler beers? One of the more interesting beers that hot butcher has made? And it's this resounding yes. Without a doubt. Just because of that cherry note. Just because of that cherry note. Because it's so unique. So unique, New York. And just... um. Honestly, just a really cool beer. This is by far and away one of the more surprising beers I've had as of late. Not because it's good. I mean, hot butcher beers are more often than not. Way more often than not. Really good. Just the way that candy cherry shows up. And to read it. And I think that's part of one of the reasons why I like it so much. Is because I've read it. And I only, I internally rolled my eyes. Like, candy cherry. Really? you tell me your El Dorado hopped IPA <laughs> is going to be. you have cherries in it? Okay. Sure. Yeah, well, like I said, I'll admit when I'm wrong, and I'm wrong. But I'm not wrong because I'm winning right now because I'm drinking this goddamn thing. So there you go. God damn, that's delicious. Um, yeah, I don't even know what else to say right now. Yeah, just a nice, that nice kind of underripe and tropical fruit kind of thing floating around the background. Stone fruit, too. I think cherries kind of dominate that. That's why it doesn't go through all that much. And cool kind of West Coast uh, piney vibes, resiny vibes. Not too aggressive, but they're meaningful. Really nice mouthfeel and just literal cherry on top of a very, very fun beer. It's just one of the better IPAs I've had as late. Yes, Mount Rushmore says, easily, easily, son. Yeah, that good. I tried to do a Jamaican accent. I don't know why. Um, yeah, valued availability on this thing. No idea. Hopefully this is like reasonable. And uh, these top of their beers, they, they can be found. They can be found out here kind of on the shelf from time to time now. I saw blazed orange in it and a cooler and, Bartonsville, Pennsylvania. I mean, Jesus Christ, that's weird. Um, but hopefully this is like... You give me this to me for less than 16 bucks before I back this dude's... Yeah, swinging to the oldies. And uh, leave you with it if you like what well, we like this. If you like well done, interesting, fun beer. Because that's what this is, interesting, fun beer. If you drink this and don't like it, sure, fine, whatever. That's on you. You do you. Some people like cucumbers pickled. But you can't tell me this is negatively made... And not interesting. Otherwise, just gas face. That's what you get. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. There you go. I did. Hopefully you're enjoying this beer. That would be cool. If you have had this beer, please let me know down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive, podcasting stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying. We'll HB right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.